Hello again YouTube and I'm back with another little video here and this video here I uh, show you some things I just recently purchased uh, came from China and uh, this is a hand crank generator and uh, this thing here produces up to around 30 35 watts um, it's pretty sturdy and there's some reviews um, on the on YouTube that shows the same thing so I'm not going to really do a review on it just Kind of give you guys maybe a little update as far as some ideas uh, for you know some type of emergency power generation to you know to charge your cell phone or something um, or some device uh, you know in the event of of an emergency or something like this and I've got this generally so that I can try to um, let's say for instance I'm stuck somewhere and you know I need to charge my capacitors uh, that's you know powering my car. Um, you know because I replaced my battery and so far the capacitor been weren't running great But this is just something a little extra, you know a little extra insurance so to speak Let's say I'm stuck and you know for whatever reason and you know, I can't you know um, You know run the vehicle for or you know for over a week or maybe four or five days in the capacitor bank just simply you know um, uh, dies because of the uh, The battery can't you know keep the capacitors charged or something like that for whatever reason and what happens is this thing right here is um, I got this it comes with this DC to DC converter here and you can see that it, the voltage goes all the way up to like 28 volts and it can kick out on close to around 2 amps or you know somewhere close to it and um, you know based on the reviews that I've seen as far as other videos you know it just you know it comes with some you know really decent connectors um, and uh, you know this thing right here is just this is just plastic, you know, no problem there. And you see it comes with these connectors here as well. And uh, so far, you know, it does charge. I, I plugged in my phone and started, you know, turning the handle. Um, thing about it is, you know, with any type of hand power generator, it is definitely going to give you a workout. Um, this is metal. This is a metal metal case, and the handle is really sturdy. Um, you know, this thing is easy to turn, um, squeaky a little bit, but it is easy to turn. Um, this is just another connector here. Uh, you can tell, you can see that, you know, it'll plug into one of these connectors here. Um, you know, standard USB, uh, micro USB here. Um, this right here uh, is just a standard USB connect uh, adapter where you can, you know, you can plug in your, you know, iPhone cable, uh, cable or connector here. And it it works it 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 works as advertised. It does charge, okay. But yeah, you're gonna be turning the handle for a little bit, <laughs> but it does work as advertised. So anyway, um, you know, just wanted to kind of show you. Um, you can look on uh, on YouTube for if you just you know kind of search for hand crank generators, you'll run into a couple of them. One of them is called like KTOR, and the and this one right here. This one right here, I believe, is is better than the K Tor. Number one, it's it's metal and it's more. It looks to be more sturdy, and also it pumps out, you know, a, a lot higher wattage. This thing does pump out, you know, it will pump out, um, you know, uh, again like 30, 30 watts, between 30, 35 watts, maybe even up to 40. Um, but anyway, this it, it for for the size, um, you know, fits comfortably in your hand. It's easy to turn. Um, this handle right here, you know, you know, it slides in and slides out to give you a lot more torque. This thing kind of flips back and forth like that. Um, and it so far so good. I have not tested it with my capacitors yet. Um, and I've got the car draining now just to kind of, you know, kind of test it out. But anyway, um, you know, uh, stand by and uh, I'll get back with you too. Okay, YouTube, and here we see I have a, a 2x4 here, and I've got the unit kind of mounted on it uh, to kind of give me some leverage, and I've got it hooked up to my uh, capacitor battery here, for lack of a better term, um, and right now it's at 6.41 volts, and I've got it mounted, I've got it connected up to these two connections, positive and negative here. In between is a diode. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a diode, and uh, this with this particular diode here, it you know allows it keeps the energy from flowing back into the generator, 
um, so that I can, you know, kind of charge it. But anyway, um, well, I'm about to find out what the deal is. So 6.41 and let the cranking begin. Okay, YouTube, after some turning, I'm at 8 point, just uh, basically 8.5, 8.6 volts. And I had to modify this thing here just a little bit so I can get more leverage on it. I got two, um, uh, two screws that I've got on the top and two screws on the bottom and I kind of put some tape in between them or tape them together so that I can kind of fit that in there nice and snug. And I've been turning uh, about 15 minutes, I suppose. And uh, the key thing is when you're turning this thing is get into a rhythm or a groove. Don't overturn, don't underturn, just get into a nice rhythm. Just like, if, just like if you, I guess if you were churning butter or something, just a you know, really, really simple groove and just keep going. And uh, the magic number is nine volts. Okay, the magic number is nine volts. I need at least just over nine volts to start the vehicle. Okay, and I purposely drained it down so that I could, uh, so I can, you know, get it low so that I can test out this, this handheld, this hand crank generator. So far, it's doing what I need it to do. Um, but, you know, hey, uh, there's still some cranking to be done. Okay, all right, stand by, you two. Okay, YouTube, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to turn this hand crank. As you can see, I'm turning it here. I got some gloves on so I won't get any blisters. And uh, you can see, as I turn it, the voltage is slowly climbing. And as you can see, I'm, I'm just staying within a rhythm, staying within a rhythm, you know, just, you know, just making it really easy, not going too fast, not going too slow. And uh, as you can see, the voltage is climbing. So just over nine, nine volts is the magic number. And I'm slowly climbing up there, you know, turning this thing. And uh, I got this on this pole and I kind of got it, you know, between my knees. It's not easy, but you know, at least I'm trying to show you exactly what I'm doing. Um, so, okay, I'm just getting up that nine volts. Now, as you get closer and closer to the, uh, the voltage level uh, of the capacitor bank, you know, it'll, the, it'll get more and more difficult to turn. So you can see, you know, it's, it's slowly climbing. Now, if I stop, I'm at 8.8 .8 volts, so I need to keep going. Okay, so it's going. Hopefully, you're not getting bored because I, I know one thing. This is a nice workout, I'll tell you that much. So, um, so it's going. I'm, at, I'm just at 9 volts, 8 point. Well, it's getting there. <laughs> so, i got to keep going, pumping those amps in. Okay, it's slowly climbing. Let's see where we at now. 8.9, uh, just a little bit further. It's got to be, for these ultra capacitors, it's got to be over 9 volt. Because if you try to turn that ignition <laughs> and it's not enough voltage, um, then what's, what's going to happen is all your hard work is going to go down the tubes. So you definitely, you know, in my case, I've got to make sure it gets over at least maybe 9.5 volts. Okay, I'm going to pause the video so that I can focus and so that you won't be, you know, bored to death as I'm sitting there cranking this thing. Okay, well, hold on, YouTube. Okay, YouTube, I'm back here just to kind of show you where I'm at getting with this thing. Again, the key is just to get into a, a groove or a rhythm. And uh, as you're turning this thing, breathing easy, just turning nice and steady, nice and steady. Don't get over, you know, not to get ahead of yourself, just kind of just turning it nice and steady, nice and steady. And um, as you can see, you know, the voltage is slowly climbing. If I stop, you'll see, well, I'm at 9.3 volts. So I, I won't feel comfortable until I get to like 9.5. So I'll keep on until I get there. So right now, 9.33, so we'll keep going. All right, I'll pause the video and come back. Okay, YouTube, um, I'm having too much fun, so uh, I decided to go for 10 volts. I mean, I'm still just turning away. Um, you know, and once you get into a groove, you know, yeah, it's hard work, but you know, 
I figured it's like, well, why go from 9.5 when I can go to 10 volts? So 9.9. Okay, let's see here. We're doing it. Okay, I'll put on pause and I'll come back at like just over 10 volts. Okay, YouTube, I've stopped at uh, 10.6 volts. So, you know, so I'm gonna grab the uh, car keys. So we're at 10.10.0 volts. So this is for all the marbles. Let's find out. So I'm in the vehicle. The lights are on. Uh oh. And it starts. Okay. I got my workout and and proved that yes, you can recharge that thing with a hand crank generator. Now, 